Now that there is a fish burger if you've ever seen a fish burger. I don't even have time to do an intro on the video. We've got a fish coming up on the deck. What is going on my doggies? Welcome back to another video. We're out here fishing right now. Didn't even have time to do an intro. Legitimately first jig to hit the bottom. And we have got a beautiful juju on here. Check this out. Woo. This is how it's done, Raddy. <laughs> that is how it's done. Seriously, first jig to hit the bottom. Just like that. That is the way to start a day. Big Jew banger. First jig to hit the bottom. There's a 100 gram FDYS jig. Sick way to start a day. I'm out here with me mate Raddy. Have a go at this. He is using some very, very technical fishing gear right now. Look at this dude, man. He's got gloves on. Rats down there. He's fishing with a little bit of bait. This is legitimately first jig to hit the bottom. That is a big Jew banger. So sick. Just gone seven o'clock in the morning. First fish on the deck. Here's a cracker. Straight in the esky. That thing is gonna be lunch today. Good fish. Ow! Now that is a way to start a day. Legitimately first jig to hit the bottom. We have just got big juju on the deck. This is Raddy. If you guys, you guys probably know Raddy. You've seen him in a video before. Have a go at this setup. This, like, this kid makes me laugh, man. He's got his gardening gloves on. He's got about a hundred pound handle on and a big chunk of mullet, which I shot with a bow and arrow a couple of days ago. All right, mate, get him down there. <laughs> Look at this thing. Nothing fancy. Yeah, doggy, that's so sick. I hope you get the biggest slob on there. We are fishing the honey hole right now. This is one of my favorite fishing spots. Two, oh, look at the fish on the bottom right now. Oh, your jig is legitimately, yo, that bait, I'm gonna put you in reverse. That bait's gonna be straight on a fish's head, man. Let's go. Look at this. Fish on the deck, fish on the deck. <laughs> yeah, the, the hand line is doing its thing. We have just did the most perfect drift. There's a heap of fish on the sounder. I was just slapping the in engine in reverse. And we've got a fish on here. Look at him. <laughs> the gardening gloves are going to work. I got color. It might be a snapper. What is it? What is it? I seen it, it was close to the boat, eh? Yeah. Snapper? Oh, snapper. that's a good snapper, bruh. That's Woo! a good fish, bruh. <laughs> On a hand line. Get him up, get him up. Yeah, doggy. That is a good fish, bruh. <laughs> you. On the hand line. <laughs> Nothing fancy. Yeah. That's Bar sick. That's so good. That's a good fish. <laughs> That's the hella fish on a hand line. Have a go at these gardening gloves, would ya? Uh, <laughs> he wanted to get a fish on a hand line and he got it done. Good fish. We're not fancy, gonna, but we're cheap. We're gonna, we're gonna turn, <laughs> turn him into burgers or what? Let him go. Fish chips, but. Good fish. I reckon we've still got plenty more in us. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Send him back. See you later, mate. It's bloody good fish, but. He'll be strong, eh? Hand line wrangler. That one took a little bit to swim off, but he ended up getting his breath and he just went deep there. So he's gone down to the bottom. He's gone alive. All right, let's see if we can upgrade that fish on a hand line. All right, now that I've got your fish, I'm going, I'm going to get the jigging on. Let's go jigging again. This place is on fire. Oh, dude, I've got to get a jig down there. All right, right now it's hand line versus jig. Who's going to get the first fish? <laughs> That's the bottom. Oh, that's fish. That is fish straight away, dude. You getting nibbles or what? As <laughs> soon as the jig hits the bottom, fish on. This will be another trout, I bet you. Beautiful little specimen. Little trout done on the jig again. All right, mate, you're going back. See ya. Boom. Off he goes. Come on, handline boy, hook him. <laughs> He's getting a couple of nibs over here. I just got another beautiful trout. Look at this thing. That's a, about the third trout for the day. He's a real good one, but we're going to let him back. Good fish. He'd be, he would be very, very good in fish tacos tonight, but we're going to let him go. Bait boys over here messing about. The jigs are getting the job done. Put this big, beautiful thing back. Oh. 
you went back fresh. Let's go again. Come on, bite boy. Yes, <laughs> bite boy. <laughs> boy, I just heard, I just heard this mad dog do the biggest scream. He just reckons. Oh, hey! oh, <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh. Is it still there? Is it gone? Oh, it's gone. Oh no way! That was big, eh? Oh, oh we just had a slob on the bait rig. Old gardening gloves oh. dropped this fish. That was bigger. Yeah, that was bigger because that was fighting me right up to the... It was fully pulling your hands yeah, in. Yeah, that was... No! Oh, that was oh, old gardening gloves over here just had a hell of a fish on. Oh, it's all happening out here. We're on some seriously good ground. There are some big fish getting caught. Lots and lots of little trout, but it's catching and releasing lots of trout. That was a big fish, man. Come on, gardening gloves. Pick up the game, mate. Shark? Ah. No, nah, well, I reckon he was it. coming with me until I got fucking a little bit further up. This is sick fun. It felt like yeah. This is what happens if you buy cheap shit. That hook just got straightened. <laughs> so whatever all that was, that was an absolute giant fish. It wasn't a shark, and he's got a straightened hook. You probably just lost the fish of your life on a handline oh, descent. Oh man. There you go. Don't buy cheap hooks. <laughs> this is a hook that come with the handline, eh? Yeah. <laughs> and I bought the cheaper hand line too. That'll buddy teach you a lesson. That would have been a massive fish, dude. All right, let's get back I down there. I feel the weight of that when I went up. <sighs> You're kidding. Oh. All right, let's go. <laughs> I'll bend that. All right, bait boy has got a big chunk of Sergeant Baker we just caught. He's going down. Go on, Mr. Gardening Gloves. <laughs> Can't stop laughing at this stupid <laughs> thing, eh? All right, we've got bait going down over there. I'm about to drop this 100 gram FDYS jig. This thing is doing the damage so far. Let's go. I don't know, actually. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish. Here we go. Oh, we've got a fish on here. A little bit bigger than those puppy dog trout we've been getting. Come on, hand line, man. <laughs> what is it? As soon as that jig hit the bottom, three wick wick wicks and it smoked it. Another little jew banger, eh? Look at that for a bloody fish. Come on, you need to get one of these on a handline, brother. He's lovely. He's a good fish. Boom! There it is. There's another beautiful little jew banger. He's actually a really good eating size fish, this one. These things are some of the most delicious fish in the sea. He's a good one, he's going in the esky. Look at that, big gob on him. He destroyed that jig, couple of tick tick booms, and we were on. Good little jew banger there. He's going on ice. All right, we've just punched a little bit further out to another fishing spot. Fishing rods are away, hand line only. You got something? Yeah, he's on. What is it? First drop, man, on the new spot. Fish on. Bait boys. Boom! One of the best eating fish in the ocean. Told you there's baldies everywhere here. Yeah, you weren't shitting about that. Told you, man. <laughs> that is one of the best eating fish in the sea, dude. On a hand line. Yeah, Yay! man! <laughs> that right there, ladies and gentlemen, in my opinion, is one of the best tasting fish in the ocean. Look at the teeth on them. These big, vicious, shell cracking teeth. But that is a very, very good eating fish. First drop, new spot on a bloody hand line. Yeah, bro, good job. Oi, we're on again. I told you, this is the honey hole, Brussy. How good is that? Just dropped another bait as soon as we put that fish in the esky. Whack, bang, he's got... That's, oh, this is, oh, heap, yeah, this is heaps yeah, bigger, yeah, eh? Yeah, this is <laughs> yeah. I'm not even fishing, are I? I put, I put all my rods up there. I'm not even fishing anymore. Oh. I'm just, oh, this is big, eh? Yeah, doggy, get him up. 150,000 pound handline. Pair of gardening gloves, what a man. Oh, what is this, dude? That's giving you hell, eh? Watch that engine. <laughs> is that how heavy? Looks like you're struggling, dude. Oh, no, every now and then it puts off. <laughs> 
It's got weight to it. Well, there's that knot. You're coming close. <laughs> so whatever it is, it's down here. We got colour. Oh, my mate's wrangling it like a bloody. What is it? Oh, it is a shark. You got a bloody shark oh, on a hand God line. Damn it. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Look at the shark. <laughs> yes. Uh, I can't believe it didn't bite you off yet. Who the hell catches a shark on a hand line? Go on, get him up, get him up. That's next level, eh? That's a, dude, that's not a small shark. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna fucking work. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> yeah, sharks on hand lines. What a day. What a day. Oh, that gave me a workout. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was a powerful little morning. We've got ourselves a beautiful feed. Check this out. This is what the eskies look like right now. Some very, very good eating fish in here. Two jewies, one big dirty ball chin groper. That's all we need. We don't need any more fish than that. We're gonna make, I don't know what we're gonna make yet, but we're gonna make one hell of a feed. You guys are probably gonna come on that as well. So, old mate here is gonna untangle his 500 meters, the hand line that he's got on the bottom of the boat. And um, we'll see you guys whenever we see you next. That was a fun morning, man. That was a powerful morning. Good fish, good fun. Hand line fishing champion in the background over here. How? All right, that was a bloody sick day's fishing. Now, what we're gonna do, we've come in, we've cleaned the fish, we've cleaned the boat. In the background here, I've got a couple of beautiful ladies to introduce you guys to. So guys, get ready. These are some of the best looking chicks you guys are ever gonna bloody see. Come on, come down here. Down here, this is where we're gonna be cooking some of the most badass burgers you guys have ever seen. Those fish that we caught this morning, they're gonna get cooked down here in front of my girl's new house. So we've just built this house. We're gonna enter it now and have a look at the ladies inside. These things are that bloody good. Go on, Mac 10, get in there. <laughs> Oi, Papa Field Day's here. Look at these things, man. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys will know that we've been building a bloody chicken coop and we finally got our chooks. We've got six chickens. These are gonna be up there with some of the best looking chickens in Australia. Follow me down here on Instagram, just bunch in, punch in field days, you guys will find it there. A little bit of chook food here. Look at this, mate, we've finally got a couple of chooks. And these ones here that are pecking my hand right now, these are Australorps, and these are the two of my favorite. We've got two Australorps, we've got six chickens all up. Look at these things, man, they're that good. Their diet is, from now on, gonna consist of fish frames. Best animals, eh? Oh, right here, mate. These things just own the coop, eh? So these are our six chickens. We've got two Australops. We've got two of those Plymouth, what are they, Plymouth Rock? Plymouth Rock, yeah. Plymouth Rock, which is this, these bad boys here. And then we've got these two gold lace chickens here. They're absolutely amazing looking chickens. They're only a day old in this coop, so they're still kind of friendly, but me and Mac 10 have knocked this coop up basically with a chainsaw and a handsaw, so. This is what it looks like in here. This is our little environment where they hang out and then eventually when they get used to the block, they're gonna be running around in the bush there. Sick, mate. Chick chickens have got ocean views. Look at this, mate. Mac 10 froths them, eh? This is where the bad boys sleep. We've got a little perch or a little roost for them up here. Some of them sleep up here, but most of them have been jumping up and up and sleeping up on this top rail. Now the back here, we've got a little bit of an egg section going on. Look at this, mate. We've got, e oh, we've got eggs already? No, not really. These are like fake eggs. So they lay their eggs there, but this is what it's looking like right now inside this chicken coop. These things are that good. You know what, you little bastards? I'm starving. I've been fishing all day. We're about to cook up some fish burgers. All right, so me and Mac 10, we've knocked this thing up in like two days. It's a badass chicken coop, but what you can do is you can come out the back of the chicken coop here. So instead of going inside to get your eggs, we've just made this little, this little compartment here. So this folds down and then you can just come out here, grab your chook eggs. There's nothing like living off the land. If you guys watch these videos, you'll know that I love catching my own food and just like 
just eating, knowing where your food comes from. That's the whole reason we've got chickens. And they're an absolutely epic little creature. So that's there, dope chicken coop. But right now, we've got some badass fish burgers to cook and we need your help. We've got six chickens. We need six different names for the chickens. If you guys wanna bust the chicken names in the comment section, I want it to be chickens like Tracy, Sally, Karen, those, you know, those like real weird names, not weird names, sorry if your bloody name's one of them, but not weird names, but those are like real typical names. Tracy, Sally, Karen, you guys got, you guys got the gist. Let's name these chickens, drop them in the comment section below. But now what we're doing is we're gonna make some badass fish burgers. Me and Mac 10, we're gonna destroy a fish burger. Let's go. Here are two big slabs of that dew fish that was caught this morning. Some really fresh, beautiful dew fish here. You can see how white that fish is. Is that good? But these are really thick chunks of meat. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna come straight down and cut them into half, half pieces. Now these chickens have never, ever seen fish in their lives. So what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna go in there and treat them to some of the freshest, best tasting fish in the ocean. Let's run in here. I don't even know if they'll eat it, man, to be honest, but they're gonna have to get used to it because these chickens are gonna be living off fish frames from now on. Ladies, where's my Austral Orcs? I'll come straight in, ready? Yes. Oh man, that went down the hatch that quick. So that is the first time these chickens have ever tried fish. And I think they like it. After a couple of months, they're just gonna be sitting on the edge of the cage, just begging for fish frames to be thrown in there. But I don't blame them for not liking it. This is the freshest, whitest. Look at the color of that meat right there. It's glowing, little rainbows inside the meat. It's such a good quality fish. This is the Jew fish that we got. The old bloody handline wrangler out in the boat was getting flogged by sharks. That was so funny. Anyway, what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna panko crumb these fish up. Unfortunately, this egg in here is not from these buddy chickens. These chickens are too young to be laying eggs, but sooner or later, we're gonna have so many eggs coming from these chickens and never have to buy eggs from anywhere else except our own. That's what it's all about. This fish is caught by myself. These eggs are eventually gonna be caught by ourselves. We're gonna be putting fruit trees and veggie patches everywhere. It's gonna be that good. Living off the land, proper. There's also hundreds of rabbits out here, so you may, you may or may not be able to see a little bit of a rabbit catch and cook going on. But right, what we do here is I'm just gonna dip this big Jew fish fillet in that egg. From the egg, we're going straight into these panko breadcrumbs. Dust him up, fill him up with breadcrumbs. Bang, that's one crunchy bit of fish. I'm just gonna do that to all these bits of fish here. Boom. 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 Come on, oh man. Australorp every time comes straight up to the gate. I'll just cut a little bit more fish before we pan coat it off. Here, hey. Come on, beautiful. Bang. Here comes the other one. Look at Man, these two Australorps have balls of steel compared to the other ones. <laughs> They're like vultures, eh? Look at them go, man. Oh, these are the best things ever. Here. One more bit. Look at him go. <laughs> that good, eh? All right, we've got a little bit of oil heating up on the pan there. We're gonna go back into the chook coop. I just, I just can't get enough of these chickens, eh? They're that good. Which one are we gonna show? I'll give you guys a closer look because they're actually beautiful chickens. All right, so this bad boy here is called an Australorp slashed with a leg horn. So this is like, these are our favorite chickens. They get these crazy like iridescent blue kind of like tingy feathers on them. They're such a, these are the friendly chickens. These are the ones that like come straight up to the fence. All right, buddy, you can go. So sick. Anyway, you guys are naming these birds. Let's get back to burger cooking. That oil should be hot. Down here, we've got a plate of freshly crumbed panko crumb Jewfish fillets. Thin, not too thinly cut, but pretty thin for fish burgers. Slapping them straight into the hot oil. Bang. Bang. Oh man. Oh, now you can smell the food, can't ya? It's all right, we'll share me burger with yous. Bang, bang, bang. Have some breadcrumbs, ladies. An 
another good thing about having these chooks, all your food scraps go straight in there. And these things are like vultures, man. Bang, they're straight onto it. It's probably the first time I've ever eaten tomato in their entire lives. Look, to be honest, I don't know what looks better, Mac 10 or the chicken coop. You guys left me in there. <laughs> it's probably been a, it's probably been a minute since you guys have seen this young lady in the videos. She's yep. been she's been working hard. She's been busting her ass behind the scenes doing some other things. But um, I'm happy to be back. Look at this, man! Big juicy pieces of fish. Oh, I'm that hungry. Look what look what we got going on here. These are going to be some of the best burgers. Chickens in the background. They're probably drooling right now, eh? Right, right, it is time to feast. What we got down here is a beautiful fresh bun with a little bit of mixed cheeses on there. The secret ingredient, garlic aioli sauce. We're gonna slap a little bit of that on the bottom layer. Two big bits of this chunky fish. Bang, bang. That's gonna go there like that. Another layer of your aioli sauce, just like this. A little bit of red onion. You can't go wrong without red. You gotta, you gotta have red onion in a fish burger. A little bit of red onion, tomato, bang, 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 bang. Avocado, I'm gonna put it on the lid of the burger. Spread that out there like that. A little bit of lettuce, also going on the lid of the burger. Push them down. Again, with the garlic aioli, on top of the lettuce this time. And then on top of that garlic aioli, we're gonna put a handful of cheese, stick it to that uh, garlic aioli, then push him down, boom, slap him together, and that there is going to be one of the best fish burgers. <sighs> All right, Mac 10, I'm gonna make yours. We're gonna jump in the chicken coop and we're gonna smash these burgers with our new little friends. Let's go, burger number two. Look at this for a fish burger. If that's not making your mouth water right now, well, you got problems. We're going inside the chicken coop. We're going to eat this with our girls. Let's go. All right, ladies, we're coming in hot with one hell of a fish burger. Caught fresh this morning. All right, so I put these little stumps inside the chicken coop. One, so we can sit on them and enjoy our little chickens. But at the same time, they've got something to jump on and play around. Look at them, they're scared. Like I said, they're only a day old. There goes a bit of tomato, but look at this. Big juicy fish burger in a chicken coop. Cheers, doggies, here we go. Oh, man. I don't even need to tell you how good that is. Hey, come on. Yes. Well, we're, we're, we're gonna be best mates, eh? Me and these two Australops. Look, well, he just grabs it in his mouth and just legs it back into the dark room. They're the weirdest animals ever, they're so good. All right, my doggies. You guys know the drill. I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna smash this burger. Mac 10's gonna put the camera down. She's gonna get her burger out. We're gonna destroy these fish burgers. How many times did I say fish burger to send? Thank you so much for watching. Oh, today was that much fun. Big sharks on hand lines. Old mate Raddy was just getting flogged on that hand line. That was one hell of a morning. Now we're finished finishing it off with fish burgers and bloody chickens. All right, there's gonna be a lot more chicken videos coming up. A little bit random, but a little bit of fun. I need names for these chickens. Six chicken names. Very, very original names. Australian, Australian Sheila names is what we're looking for. Righto, much love. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more. Ladies. Hi. Australop, come here.